Hey y'all, this is a lesson on the effects of outliers, specifically on centers of measure to include mean, median, and mode. Uh, it does affect the range, of course, and we're going to visit all four here shortly. But what is an outlier? Um, an outlier is a value or a number that is much less or greater than the, than the other values in that data set. So for example, let's say Jim's grades are 190, 185, 20, 75, 80. If we look at that, let's, let's take a look at our mean, median, mode, and range, and let's take a look and see how the outlier has affected it. Now the outlier in this case is the 20. It's much, much lower. Um, this is going to be the outlier. Okay, So we're going to see how this affects the mean, median, mode, and range. So the mean, let's do the, uh, let's do the mean last. Let's go ahead and start putting this in order from least to greatest. So the first number, the lowest number is 20. Next to that is going to be 75, 80, 85, 90, 100, 100. And so we've got seven, seven grades. The median is 85. The mode is 100. The range is from 20 to 100. So the range is 80. So let's take a look at the mean now. The mean we add this all up, let's see, this is going to be 95 plus 80 is 175. 175 plus 85 is going to be, I want to say 260. 260 plus 90 is 350. 450, 550. All right, so 550 is your total. You add them all up. Divide by 7 because there's 7 numbers. 7 goes into 55. See seven, almost eight times. Seven goes into sixty, eight, eight times. And then seven goes into forty, uh, fifty, forty-nine times. I'm sorry, seven goes into fifty, seven times. That's forty-nine. Okay, and as you can tell. I'm losing uh, I'm losing space here but basically it looks like it's going to be a rather long um, a rather long decimal I'm going to check this real quick on the calculator make sure I did this correctly yeah it's it's going to be 78.57 uh, so I messed up somewhere not quite sure where I messed up but let's see 7 times 7 is 49 the difference is six, six, zero, eight, fifty-six, four, oh, four. That's what happened. Four. Seven goes into forty five times. Okay. So that's where I messed up. Okay. So anyway, so we're just gonna round it. Let's say about seventy-eight point six. Okay. So this is what we call our average or the mean. Now, how does the outlier affect all this data okay so what I mean by that is if we didn't have this outlier let's say it wasn't there let's say we let's say we we exit out okay let's say it doesn't exist and sometimes people will do that uh, teachers in the past have done that they'll take um, maybe the lowest grade in the semester and they'll basically just uh, cancel it and that's that's something that people do mainly because you could have a bad day you know you could have a just a really bad testing day and people have bad days and so they should you know most teachers should understand that so if you do really horrible on a test you should be able to make that up somehow in some way shape or form but anyways let's say that doesn't exist let's say the teacher throws it out let's see how this all changes so what would happen is Instead of having this data set, your data set would look like this. 75, 80, 85, 90, 100, 100. 
your mode would still be 100. Your median would be basically between here. Okay, you had three numbers here, three numbers here, so it's somewhere between 85 and 90. That's basically 87.5 is going to be your, your median. If you look up here, the median is 85, but without the 20, it becomes 87.5. So it goes up just a little bit. So it affects it just a little bit, not too bad. It doesn't affect the mode at all. It affects the, uh, the median a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at the range. The range would be 100 minus 75. The range would be 25. So the range would be affected dramatically. I mean, dramatically. And the last one is the mean. So the mean, remember, it was 550 with all the numbers, right? So if we didn't have that 20, 550 minus 20 is 530. So 530 divided by 6. We'll see. 530 divided by 6, 88.3. So 88.3 would be the average, would be the mean. Okay, if you take a look, that's with the 20. This is without the 20. So right off the bat, you notice, wow, that's almost 10 percentage points difference. That's the difference between a C and a B. So that's what an outlier does. An outlier can dramatically affect the data. It can, it can truly just bring the data down it could take the average and just really bring it down a lot. Or let's say um, this was your data set, like right here, and then you had 100, 100. That would also be an outlier because it would be dramatically that much greater. And it could also pull up the data. It would bring it up. So it could swing the data one way or the other. And that's what an outlier does. That's basically it. That's all you need to know on the effects of outliers. And uh, God bless, guys. Talk to you later, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.